One of the greatest callings of the Jewish people is still laying ahead of them. Just recently, my eldest son came to me and he asked me, he says, Dad, what is their calling for the future? Why did they come back to this land? And this is a very important question for us to answer today. What is the future calling of the Jewish people? And as we shall see, the greatest calling of the Jewish people is still laying ahead of them. If you read in your Bible, Hosea chapter 2, you read in verse 16 that God will restore this nation and this people back to him. They will call him, you are my husband and you are my master. But then he says something very exciting in verse 18. In that day, I will make a covenant for them with the beasts of the field, with the birds of the air, and with the creeping things of the ground. Bow and sword of battle I will shatter from the earth to make them lie down safely. What I believe what it means is that God is going to restore this world back into the state like it was in the Garden of Eden. It means that God is going to restore creation into the way how he intended it to be from the very beginning. It will be a glorious and an exciting time, but then in this context also Isaiah the prophet speaks about a time when the knowledge of the Lord will cover the whole world like the waters is covering the sea. That means there will be no dry spot on this land where people will not recognize the God of Israel. There will be no place in this world where people will not be in a relationship with the God of Israel. It will be a time where indeed this prophecy which God gave to Abraham 4,000 years ago for the first time will be fulfilled where he says, every family of this world shall be blessed in this blessing which will come out of the seed of Abraham. That means every part of this world will be, will be uh, filled and penetrated by the understanding who the God of Israel is, who the God of the Bible is. And in that line there is another very exciting prophecy where God says in Isaiah chapter 25 verse 7, and I will destroy on this mountain the service of the covering cast over all the people and the veil that is spread over the nations and he will swallow up death forever. God says there is even until today like a veil upon the eyes of the nations that which keeps them from recognizing the truth of God. And God says here on this mountain I'm going to remove this veil from the eyes of the nations and they will see every family of this world, every single inhabitant will be covered by the knowledge of the Lord, by the revelation of God, that God loves them, that God died for their sins and that he sent his only begotten son. This will be a glorious time for our planet. Death will be swallowed up forever. What a beautiful promise. And it's, I believe, to that promise what Paul is referring to when he writes in Romans 11, verse 15, he says, But if they're being cast away, talking about the Jewish people, is the reconciling of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? It means what Paul was, is telling us here that the greatest outworking of the blessing of Israel for humanity is still laying ahead of us. He says, think if the Jewish people in their rejection of Messiah brought such a great blessing to humanity, reconciliation for the whole world, he says, how much more will a blessing be released if this nation will be spiritually and physically restored here in the land of Israel? He says it will be nothing else than life from the dead. It means the resurrection power of God will be seen here on this world in a way how it never was being visible on the planet Earth. And therefore, we need to recognize the Jewish people is an incredible gift for human mankind. They blessed us with the word of God. They blessed us with their Messiah. But the greatest blessing what they are going to bring to humanity, according to Paul, is still laying ahead of us. That's why we need to pray for them. That's why we need to stand at the side of this people which has such a great calling upon them. Let us pray today for Israel like never before.